Hi there and welcome back to Japan where today I'm going to be checking out a little recommendation that I was given and it just looks so weird I've got to go with it. However, it's nearly nine minutes long. So if this is one of those videos that turns out to be two songs, I'll be stopping at the end of the first song. But I'll be very careful to check that. Anyway, this is, um, what's it say, Ningen Isu and Heartless Scat. Now when you say scat, there's only two things I think of. Either that weird dance that people did to Scar like 15 years ago, or scat. Ew. Okay, so let's check this out. All I know is the thumbnail looks crazy. There's one, I, I don't know, I, I wouldn't usually call him an old guy, but considering how young most Asian people look, he's got to be pretty like 200 years old. He's grey. They, they never go grey. Seriously, when you've got hair like mine, try sitting on a train in Japan. So there's like 70 year old guys and they look five times as young as you. <gasps> anyway, here we go, heartless scat, go. Oh no, go. There we go. I was told this would not be at all what I expect. I like the creepy moody video. <laughs> Okay, come on. His voice is awesome. I love that building up chord pattern. I love that kind of thing. Really dramatic but simple. Yeah, the lyrics actually say Shabadaba. Shabadaba doo. Do you know the sound they're getting from a free piece is fantastic. I know there's a bit of layering going on in the recording, but it's much more crunchy. You can really. Like a lot of metal, you get really compressed guitars to make them sound more powerful and loud, but on this you can hear everything, you can hear the fingers on the strings, even though it's metal and it's distorted. And it's, it adds something to it, a grit to it, that otherwise it wouldn't have. <laughs> Shabadaba is written in katakana, so they clearly accept it's not Japanese, but I, it's just a noise. Oh, key change. Here we go. I feel like this is another song. But they've played it in perfectly, so I'm gonna let that slide.
Is it just me or is the bassist doing that same facial expression that Tim Smith from the car Cardiacs always used to do? Always kind of scrunching up his nose. Like, ah. See, that's a nice guitar solo, nice and melodic. Actually, yeah, that guitar tone as well. I'm getting that cardiac vibe back again. I stand corrected. and weirdly fun. I, I don't know how to put it together. Nice final little cadence there as well. Is, is that it? Crikey, eight and a half minutes. Tokuma Japan Communications, thank you very much. I don't I haven't uploaded this video yet, obviously, so I have no idea if you're gonna sue or block me. If you don't, thank you. <laughs> Alright, there's a lot to yeah, a lot to break down in that one again. A lot of things to unpack there. Um, first of all, let's let's just address the fact that that's a really cool idea for a band, I don't want to sound like I'm being um, demeaning or anything, but it's nice to see a band who's got an older guy in. I was wondering, is this a band that's been around for a while, or is he just someone who's been a musician for a while and then suddenly got involved in this band or made this band, and that's suddenly the first time he's exploded and had some success? I did get the sort of vibe that this is something that's maybe been created more around the fact that they look very different. You know, you got the sort of big bassist guy who's clearly like doing, like I say, the sort of weird uh, cardiac style clown scrounging knee faces. You've got the um, the lead singer who's an older guy who looks like he's all in the sort of traditional garb. And the drummer, the drummer has got like that, he looks like the stereotype Yakuza guy, you know, always wearing a Hawaiian shirt, you know, the old stereotype of the Yakuza. Reminded me of um, 
There's a movie, uh, one of the earlier movies by one of my favorite Japanese directors, um, uh, Miki Satoshi. Um, his movies are normally really, really bizarre. And one of the early ones was something about um, where to find rare insects or whatever. But there's a group of people traveling along in a car and then just someone pushes an inflatable doll out into the road and they hit it and stop. Um, and it turns out that that was a trick by the local Yakuza guy who they immediately identify as Yakuza because he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And that's all you need to know in Japan. Anyone who's got a loud shirt on, Yakuza. Um, before you see the tattoos or anything, that's how it goes. So he kind of like reminded me of that and with the slick back hair and the glass and everything had that whole look. So, you know, they're a band who uh, I, th I suspect they're probably relatively new because it looks like they're trading on having a slightly strange look. From the piece of music, I don't know if it was a medley of two of their pieces of music or if it was just written to be that long. So it's kind of almost felt like, was it um, one song with another one jammed into the middle or was it just like a big epic where it goes off onto a tangent? Either way, it kind of works. I've got no objection to that. I will admit that yes, it was maybe a little a bit long uh, because it was quite a slow tempo song for so for someone like me who's usually into stuff that's quite hyperactive and stuff that really pushes you in a century sort of way that was maybe a little bit um too slow for me but and you know considering the length but that's a bit of a tough objection to really say as anything more than just personal opinion um that's just my uh, perspective on it now from um, isn't everything i say but from a perspective of the music, though, in the way it was recorded, the interesting thing is, is that, okay, yeah, so we could argue there isn't really much going on in the song beyond the musicianship of the three instrumentalists, the singing, and a little bit of layering. But what was really interesting about that is that, like I said during the song, for something that had so little realistically going on in it, you know, I mean, it's a small band and, you know, playing, you know, to a relatively slow scale. The way it was recorded was fantastic. There's the sound of the guitar and everything. Um, you go to uh, a lot of, like, more modern bands and, like I say, the compression's very heavy, so it's, it fills your headphones. It's, like, maximum noise, maximum impact but at the same time loses a little bit of, um, because everything is constantly pushed up against the top of the volume bar, um, as you'd ever see if you've ever seen a graph of one of these songs, uh, the way they're recorded. Um, there's just no contrast, but when you go back to older metal, sometimes the, it doesn't have as much impact. Well, for someone like me, um, I listen to it, and I, sometimes you hear something that's supposed to be heavy and it just doesn't feel heavy, and I think the answer's somewhere in between, which is what they've got here. They've got the sound really nice, especially on the guitars. Like I say, you could feel like the chugging but at the same time, it was sort of fairly blasty and loud and pushed up against the top. Just the sort of right balance of everything sound-wise, which meant that even if they didn't get particularly musically engaging um, in sort of arrangement or, you know, well, like layering or sort of musical interplay, I guess is the best way of wording it, it did still have a really sort of palatable sound, um, which meant that you could keep your foot tapping, you could just keep into the song even when it wasn't at its most inspiring. But the one thing which was probably best is the fact that it kept on, um, so the arrangement sort of depth wise was a little bit thin, but in the actual overall length of the song, it did lots of things. It wasn't like they were just extending one idea for over eight minutes. They were playing with lots of changes and that meant that you, again, you never really knew what was coming around the corner. Um, overall, the sound of the band, I like a lot more than I expected. Um, you know, the drums are the drums are drums, no offense to the drummer, but the uh, bass guitarist, the bass has a really nice sound, the guitar has an amazing sound. Like I so say, when he's doing the higher stuff that sound like solos, it was that same sort of tone you, I remember from the uh, Cardiacs where it just sounds a little bit, almost borderline crazy. Um, and the vocals were brilliant. I loved his voice, it was fantastic uh, throughout the song, just really great. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of things about that song which were just kind of likable. Is it necessarily my thing? Is it something that I would say I think that was perfect in every way? Obviously not. Um, like I say, I think my main negative points I perhaps put against it are the fact that it was um, quite long for a song that was that slow. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. I guess it didn't have any big hook, but we're not after a big hook here. Um, the video was quite funny. I did like how they did the, uh, the oh, actually one more thing on the arrangement. Um, that last bit where it went dark in the video and they had that sort of crescendo, I really enjoyed that. And then when the solo came in at first, I was thinking, um, is that, you know, is that really necessary here? But then the more I thought about it, I was like, if you were really, like, if you were just sort of sitting, listening to this song as someone knew how it went, that would be like a great way of tailing it off. So yeah, the whole ending was really nice, big crescendo as well. But so going back to the video, the video, 
<laughs> the video was incredibly cheap looking. I don't know what the budget is for this band. Um, the cameras look nice, but it really looked like the director just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna walk around you a few times. Oh, let's go stand over there. Oh, let's do that shot at night. Um, yeah, all right, I'll take all the footage home and I'll send you a video. Oh, I've got a drone as well and a beach. Um, it kind of looked like the, the video didn't exactly have much professionalism in it, so much as professional equipment, but again, much of a muchness. I guess that's not what we're really here for. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing a bit more of them. I'd perhaps like to hear something a little bit um, faster and punchier to see if they have that side to them. It does seem that they can play quickly, um, so I'd love to see if there's anything of theirs that goes down that route. But for now, um, yeah, a really good find, really interesting find. Thank you very much for giving me this one. I think this came up in the live chat. Apologies, I never remember the names of people who suggested. Like I say, I only remember you by your, like your avatars. I, I remember you by what your avatars look like, and then I think that's what you actually look like in real life. But anyway, for now, from Japan, it's a ciao time. That doesn't mean anything, but ciao.